Alrighty, so in this video, I will show you how to install Rope Master and then use that Apple Bluetooth spamming. So let's start with that. So first thing first, we will connect our Q Flipper that is here. You can see it's connected. And uh, you can see I am using it on a different firmware version. So how you can get into that, I'll show you now. So first thing is, we'll be back to our browser. This link is already shared on the description box you can check it out so this one is flipper zero firmware with plugins and this have the rope master form uh, firmware we'll go all the way down we click on this web installer this is the easiest way to start with so we are using this one so once you get into this page make sure your q flipper is disconnected so i'll go back and uh, close my q flipper app so it's gone now we're gonna go and work with this. So we can click on connect. It will give you the port. So it's running on COM5 and your flipper zero new. Click on connect. So once that is connect, select your firmware version. So latest one is Rogue Monster 0.90.2. We'll select that and then click on install. It takes few minutes to install. We'll wait for that. It's downloading the firmware file. So we will wait for this process to complete. Uh, it should be good to go. Uh, one thing to remember, you can have, like, Clipper Zero recommend to have at least 8 GB of card. I had a 16 GB card playing around, so I'm using that. It's not recommended to have a 16 or 32 GB card. You won't be using that kind of space anyways. We give it time to go through this. I'm going to pause this video once that is done and resume back. Uh, one thing to remember if you're using a different version of uh, uh, Flipper Zero, it could be like Unleashed or the default one. It just works having Rogue Master with plugins makes life a little bit easier. You can install the fab file on your default Flipper Zero firmware and it just works on that as well. For this demo, I'm going to show you on Rogue Master firmware. So if you want to do on your stack firmware or the stock firmware, you can do it very easily i'll share that link as well you just have to move this uh, fab file to your bluetooth directory and it just works so i'll pause again and wait until this finishes so this is done now it will boot up my flipper zero so i'll switch to my other cam to show you the update and you can see you'll see something like this on your flipper zero wait for it to flash it takes around a minute or two. I'm gonna pause the video again and return back once this is done. The flash is complete. Now we get to this screen and just go ahead and uh, go to next. And it should be good to go. Now I'll move back to my main camera or my desktop to showcase from QFlipper app. Give me a second to switch back. Okay, now I switch back to my IP cam and flipper zero screen on this side. So I can show exactly what I am going to do. The first thing is we'll go back to our apps, go to Bluetooth, then we'll go to Apple Bluetooth spam. Right click, still so select an headphone that you want it to run. We will be doing AirPods Pro. We'll click on start and this screen it should pop back we'll check our bluetooth is working and yes we got this we can close it it will reopen again because we set to 500 millisecond we'll wait for a few seconds it'll pop back again uh, we can stop it and let's try a different headset pair so we got airpods pro max so let's try this see it just works uh, you can actually change the timing 
multiply by into this line, set it to every one second. So if you close this one, it will pop back again in few seconds. It does. We close it again. We'll wait for a few seconds. And it should pop back in again. So here we go. This is how you can do a Bluetooth spam on Apple devices. I hope this video helps you to understand how this thing works and have a good day. Bye-bye.